So we've just got a new updated version of Brizzy being released today. And alongside some bug fixes and some updates that go on behind the scenes, we've got a couple of new features that I think are worthwhile having a video made just to show you what they are. So in this episode, I'm going to show you the different new features and I'm going to take you through and demonstrate how you use them inside the Brizzy editor. So let's just jump over into WordPress, open the dashboard up and let's take a look at these in action. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So, Brizzy has some new updates and let's take a look at one of the key ones, the new ability to start adding drop shadows in. Now this is something that's been out for quite some time in other editors and I know it's been asked for a lot. And as always, it's an incredibly simple integration into the Brizzy editor. So let's just create a simple layout and we'll take a look at how we actually add in that drop shadow effect. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a simple two column layout and I'm going to show you how you can use this drop shadow effect with different types of components or different types of widgets inside Brizzy. So you can see we've got a form on the left hand side and an image on the right hand side. So now let's take a look at how we can apply this drop shadow effect. So let's start off by applying a background to our form on the left hand side. So all I'm going to do is just click to add a background color and we'll set this to be a pale gray so we've got some separation. Now to access the options to create this drop shadow effect is very easy. We just click on the settings tab and click on more settings. And you'll see we now have a new option at the bottom of our more settings section for shadow. If we click on that, it immediately activates the drop shadow and we now have four controls that allow us to adjust the size, the spacing of position and so on. And we also have a color option. So we can easily tweak and adjust that to get exactly what we want. So let's just leave it as black color. Let's adjust the, the first option, which is the actual distance and the spread of the shadow. So you can see we now start to get this separation as the form element lifts off the page. Very nice and easy. We can then adjust even more. So this sort of adjusts the, the throw of the shadow itself and the intensity, which we can obviously use in conjunction with the opacity slider just to get that effect. So it looks like it raises off the page more so. And then we've got the horizontal and vertical offset value. So you can see as we adjust this, we adjust any of those values and the same goes for this one as well. So very, very easy to configure. Very similar to anything you'd see inside something like Elementor or Visual Composer, any of those kind of page builders. So nothing you're not used to, but a very nice, simple implementation. We can also do exactly the same thing then for the image. We can select our image if you want to, come up to the settings and just simply come down to more settings and do the same again. So just choose the drop shadow option. And now we can just adjust those settings that we want on there. And you see the difference being is with the image itself, it shows the drop shadow on the image, whereas on the form on the left hand side, we've applied it to the actual cell itself or the actual column itself. So a very nice, simple implementation of creating shadow effects using new Brizzy update. Now the next thing I want to show you is how we can enable and disable the hamburger menu for mobile devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new menu system at the top of our page. To do that, I've just created a simple row with one column. We're going to come in and choose an element. And this time we're going to come in and we're going to choose the menu option, which is the default WordPress function. So we'll drag that over, drop that in there. And you can see that now populates that with the first menu that it finds. Now, if we want to change that, that's very easy. All we need to do is select it, and then we can just simply come in and start making changes. So if you want a different menu, if we have multiple menus, we can simply click on the settings option for the WordPress widget. And you can see we can choose any menu we've got in there. We can also adjust the spacing between each of the menu items. So that's nice and easy, the font structure and so on. So we can easily change all those elements. So that's nice and simple. Now, if we want to get it access to showing over the, uh, the hamburger menu, we need to enable that now using Brizzy. And that's, again, very, very easy to do. So the first thing we need to do is switch over to mobile view. So we do that by coming down to the bottom left hand corner and selecting mobile from there. And you can see at the moment it's showing the normal default layout. We just need to enable now the hamburger menu. And to do that, we just simply select the menu come up to the WordPress settings option, click on there and you can see we've now got the option to toggle menu. Once we click on that, you can see it updates and shows us the hamburger menu. When we switch back over to our desktop view, it switches back to the normal menu structure. And that's how easy it is. Again, a really nice, simple implementation to get access to a hamburger menu should you want to use it for mobile views. So that's the two biggest changes that have been brought to Brizzy. 
And there's a couple of other things I want to show you that are slightly less important, but nonetheless, they're worth checking out. First option is just one of those little visual things that makes life just a little bit easier, especially as more sort of elements are added to the Brizzy editor. Once you open those up, you now take your mouse over and it'll give us a full text pop-up. It'll give you a tool tip at the top telling you what everything is actually for. So it's now using the full title of that particular uh, element. So one simple little addition. The other thing is to do with the roles. In other words, we can now restrict access to various different parts of Brizzy. Now, the free version is kind of restricted. You only have the option to allow access or disable access, but the pro version is going to give you more options to control that. And to access that, we need to come back out of the Brizzy editor. So we'll go back to WordPress, and all we're going to do is come out to Brizzy, open that up, and you can see we've now got Role Manager tab, and we can click on there, and you can see we've got Editor, Author, and so on, all the different kind of uh, roles you've got inside your WordPress copy, and you can just access those by using full access or no access. So if you are using this on a production environment, then you can limit access to only the people that you want based upon their role. Again, a really simple little addition, but implemented very nicely into the Brizzy Editor. Now, speaking of the pro version of Brizzy, which is due out apparently in September, if you're looking to get your hands on that as soon as it's released and you'd like to save yourself some money, please consider using the lifetime special offer that they're rolling out at the moment. You pay once and you can use this forever on as many sites as you want and have access to all of the updates from now until the end of development of this product. If you think that's something you'd like to tap into, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel and help us create more great content for you speaking of content please hit that like button smash the subscribe button hit the bell icon to the note be notified every time we release new content and as always if you've got any comments questions or feedback on this the new features being added to brizzy pop those in the comment section below let's get a conversation started tell me what you think is good about brizzy what you'd like to see in future developments and if you think they're rolling things out fast enough for us as web designers as always my name's been paul c and this has been wp tuts and until next time take care